And welcome to the Friday Night Blitz Week 12, second round of the playoffs. Boy, we've got some interesting and exciting highlights to show you. Our game of the week featuring the unbeaten Irmo Yellow Jackets hosting Myrtle Beach from W.C. Hawkins Stadium. Head coach Aaron Brand, fresh off getting career win number 100 last week, looking for 101. By the way, that win last week, an 85-0 shutout win over Colleton County. First quarter, Jaden Allen Hendricks bulldozes his way through the line, 15-yard pickup and a first down. A few plays later, A.J. Brand, the coach's son, decides to keep it himself. It's a good choice because the junior powers his way to a touchdown. Yellow Jackets up seven. But there would be more scoring. Next thermo possession. Brand will give it right back to Allen Hendricks, busted outside, and he is gone. That is a 62-yard touchdown. Irmo with playmakers through the air and obviously on the ground, 14-3 at the end of one quarter. But the Seahawks, who enter the night with victories in nine of the last 10 games, will not go away quietly. Gibson Goodrow found Rayvon Green on fourth and 14. Clutch play there for Luke Doty's alma mater. And that cuts the lead to four. And to be fair, Adam Randall's alma mater as well. But then on the next drive, Irmo answers right back. Brand to Donovan Murph. We've called his name out a lot this year. We can make plays like that. That's what's going to happen. 57-yard connection for number six. Yellow Jackets go up 21 to 10. And they win it 55-24. The perfect season continues. And the Yellow Jackets will face James Island next Friday night. James Island knocked off Hartsville. 5A action. TL Hanna hosting Dutch Fork in the upstate. Third quarter. The Silver Foxes have a four-point lead. Evaporates, though, as Hanna's Katie Patterson dashes his way to a long touchdown. Yellow Jackets up 24-21. Third quarter, same score. Dutch Fork gets the lead back as Ethan Offing finds Carlos Sexton for a score. This is a back and forth affair heading into the fourth. Yellow Jackets went back up courtesy of another long run by Katie Patterson. 70 yards to the house. 28-24, TL Hanna at that point. But again, this is the Dutch Fork team that's gotten healthy and they're playing like the Dutch Fork teams we've come to expect in terms of executing in the play playoffs. And Offing keeps it himself, hits pay dirt. Dutch Fork goes back in front. Next drive, 28 seconds left. Heel Hanna's kick is partially blocked. And Dutch Fork survives, courtesy of strong special teams. 31-28, the final Dutch Fork moving on. Wow. Unbeaten White Knoll, 11-0. Most wins in, in a season in school history, hosting Fort Dorchester. First meeting ever between these two programs. You know, Nick Pelham spent five years at Dutch Fork, helping, helping them win five consecutive state championships. And he saw Tom Knotts demand that his team would build on a, an impressive first half lead. So White Knoll was up 41 to seven. So how will they perform in the third quarter? Keeping the foot on the gas. Landon Sharp, the North-South selection. Austin Cunningham, he'll be headed to the beach next month. 47 to seven at that point. White Knoll playing some D. Lincoln Alungpu. I told him I was probably gonna mispronounce that name, but hey, still pretty impressive number 18 with the sack. Whitehall has the ball right back. Jaden Kimball breaking tackles. And that'll move the chains. And you know, in the playoffs, you never know when a game might come down to a field goal. And Whitehall's got a pretty good kicker in Jordy Aguilera. And that is from 38 yards. And White Knoll with an impressive victory tonight over Fort Dorchester, who played for the state championship last year. You recall they lost to Dutch Fork. 50 to 7, the final. White Knoll. Moving on, now who will they play? Well, they would play the winner of Sumter and Stratford. The Knights hosting the Gamecocks. Defensive struggle early on. Sumter with the ball. John Peoples looks like he stopped, but he bounces to the outside. 10 yard game before he is knocked out of bounds. Then quarterback Pat Merchant fires to Jamie Tedder. Nice grab for Sumter. And then the Gamecocks out of the Wildcat. Peoples with the snap, scores. And Sumter wins it by a final of 27 to six. So Sumter headed to White Knoll next week, for the third round of the playoffs. First half of the Friday Night Blitz is in the books, but stay with us. More sports, more great highlights coming up right after this.